Hello everyone and welcome to a Static Grass Creation Studio update. Today we have a Lord of the Rings commission using alternate sculpts as I will describe later. Um, I was given very specific instructions for each of these models and we are going to take a closer look at these Rohan soldiers. First unit we will take a look at are the Rohan Helmingas with Grimbold attachment. So these guys are supposed to be um, kind of like mountain mountaineers. Um, they live up in the mountains near Rohan and they're more of like a not so organized folk. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's basically the extent of the fluff that I know about them, um, if that's even correct. Uh, but um, yeah, like I said before, there are very detailed instructions on how to paint these. I'll just lower the camera a little bit. Uh, they got wolf pelts from here. And oh, by the way, the models are from Gripping Beast Plastics. They are actually Vikings. Um, like uh, historical figures, kind of Vikings. Um, they're very, very neat. I'll just move a bunch of these guys out of the way first. Take a look at him first. So on the shields, uh, that's freehand. So kind of Umbrella Corporation style. But um, yeah, so the green, green and white alteration for the shield, uh, wolf pelt. Uh, the wolf pelts are from a third party company called Max Mini. Um, or Max Mini. Uh, can't remember quite what the name of the company is. Oops. But um, yeah, so some of these guys are equipped with spears. Uh, they're also equipped with swords, but um, they're in their sheaths on some of these models. Um, all of their tunics, they're all supposed, they're all green. Got the wood grain going over there. You can see it. Um, yeah, and these, these bases are also from, I believe, Secret Weapon miniatures. Uh, they are the rocky or the mountainous bases that they sell. This, each, each of the, uh, the, uh, the box of Vikings that these guys came in, they came in with a bunch of different weapons. So you have spears. Um, they also have axes, swords, uh, and throwing spears as well. And also standards, Big axes, yeah. Um, yeah, there are four. Let's see if I can find them. Yeah, there are four different um, styles of shields that I was asked to do, or just at least differing shields, but the same same colors were used, uh, green and white. And if we take a closer kind of pan. The helmets are all leather with a steel reinforcement. And all the cloaks were kind of have a three color alteration. Black, black, brown, and gray. And all the different guys, all the guys have, uh, I think, like five different hair colors or something like that. We have um, black, uh, red, um, gray, or white, and blonde. Is there another one? No. No. Okay. So these guys are all the. Uh, the regular soldiers and 
that has to put in a standard. So this this is the standard that came in the box of Vikings. I really like their helmets. Helmets are really nice. They have some of them have like the uh, face cover. Some of them don't. You just have the nose guard. Yeah, historical miniature there, and then the unit attachment was Grimble. This guy has a big axe, two-handed axe, and he's standing on a rock. And then most of the bases also put some static grass on there to kind of match the um, kind of grassland, really dry grassland, hilly terrain of Rohan. And also, guy with a sword. Next we have Rohan Royal Guard with Urkenbrand as the attachment. Um, so again, the miniatures are from Gripping Beast Plastics, but these guys were uh, Vikings or whatever. These guys, these guys are also Vikings, but they're from a different particular box set. Um, they didn't have the hodgepodge of um, shields. They didn't have uh, the throwing spears in their kit as well. Um, but they, what they did have was more uh, uniform um, little details in their kit. So, as you can see on the shields, there are more shields with uh, a studded ring around them. And because they're Royal Guard, they're actually, you know, paid uh, a little bit better than the guys living up in the mountains. So they do have a uniform. Uh, all their colors, their shields, um, they are basically the same. It's a, kind of a wavy cross. It's kind of difficult to see in the camera uh, because the colors are so dark. Um, but it is... It is the, if I can find it in the other group, here we go. It's this. It is in a cross shape, but the lines are waved instead of straight, horizontal and vertically. So yeah. Um, lots of gold, lots, liberal use of gold trim. Um, lots of little details to make them look slightly uh, richer than their helming uh, counterparts. So all of these guys are equipped with spears and a shield and I believe swords. Yes, you got uh, sheathed swords and all that. Same uh, same deal with the hair. Uh, there's some guys with red hair, some with gray, some with blonde and black. It's all nice, and they're all. Same thing with um, their bases from Secret Weapon Miniatures, the cobblestone bases instead of the mountainous ones. Okay. Take a slightly closer look at one of, or a couple of these guys. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the cloaks, they're from Victoria Miniatures. They're very, the cloaks have very good movement to them. I really like them. Although the, I guess it, I, I think it's mostly just me. I just found the um, hoods up here to be difficult. They're a little, they were a little bit difficult to find where the opening of the hood was. Um, I just kind of guessed, but it looks right, I think. And it kind of be shaped like that. Um, yeah. It's not, it's not exactly a criticism, I'm pretty sure that's how it would actually be in real life. Kind of hard to find the hood if you're kind of looking at it from uh, top down or wherever wherever your perspective is. Yeah, um, yeah, lots of, lots of gold trim, so instead of the leather helmets with steel um, reinforcement, they're steel helmets with gold trim instead. Um, these, the little crosses around their necks, they're in gold instead of steel, like the Helmingas. And yeah, lots of, lots of gold trim. Same on the scabbard, sword hilt. If 
hose a little bit more open so you can see the details. Yeah, I tried, like the paint over here, I tried to uh, do streaks downward and, or uh, vertically so it kind of looks like it's uh, the wood's kind of showing through the wood shape. I'm going to go to this special character, Urken Brand. Urken Brand. I just, he is in the movies, so I got to see a picture of him. Uh, he is blonde, so I, you know, went with that. And he has the horn. That ca that actually did come in the kit of these Vikings. Um, I thought that was kind of interesting. It comes with a little kit, or it comes with a little horn. Very, um, a very interesting kit, because these, these kits, the Vikings, come in uh, boxes of 40. And I only, uh, only used 13 from each. And there's a whole bunch of extra guys, so, you know, if you want to go down the uh, Lord of the Rings route, and you don't mind, uh, you don't mind um, not using a particular game company, then, you know, alternate, alternate models are always really nice. Um, Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, the helmets, they're also all kind of uh, very similar in make, where they have this little like nub thing on top. Um, some don't, like this guy, but most of them, most of them have a little nub thingy on top, painted gold. Yeah, very interesting commission to do uh, with. Most of the, a lot of the commissions that I get, they're very open-ended. Um, they have a, usually they have, just have like a general color scheme, and then I just, you know, go away with it, run away with it. Um, but this one, it was extremely specific. Very interesting uh, concept. I really liked it. I had quite a bit of fun doing all the freehand, or the, uh, shield designs, um, making the units, you know, look like they're units, look like they're in uniform and all that. That always, that always uh, attracts me to collecting armies, having a uniform kind of feel to them. Static Grass Creations is a professional miniature model painting and assembly company. Check us out at www.staticgrasscreations.com for more information. Set up a project today and let's bring some miniatures to life. If you like what you see, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe.